So we're out here at Rafa's garage. Today we're working on Tsunami. So we're putting the stack manifold and the stock intake because there's no carb legal intake for this. Um, my girl's car got reft. So going back to stock, that's the only thing that needs to be stock. Um, as far as emissions, so we're gonna remove that DDPR, remove that intake relocate that back over here and get this car back on the road so so there it is intake manifold is almost out the only ones that have not take out are these cooling lines right here um so just a bunch of bolts right there and now i got to put a stud right here and a stud right here um that's the one right here this one and i believe this one right here so those studs right there then figure out um how the vacuum lines go um took off the intake which is fairly easy unplug the electronic throttle um and the map sensor and there's the intake and the reservoir which is just laying there i do take off the spacer that was right here um and then now just to put everything i do have a gasket for it brand new so that's what i'm gonna use and that's about it So I already put the manifold on. I need to tighten those bolts up. I haven't done so. I'm trying to figure out the vacuum lines, which I kind of figured them out already. Um, this one goes to that one. This one goes to this one right here. Um, this one goes straight over here to this sensor, the EVAP sensor. Um, and then from the air box, from that one, that one goes right here. Um, and then this one also, you gotta find a hose for that. And that one goes to the air box also here. Um, this one is one of these hoses that go come up here, um, which is the one over here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one right here, the one that comes up here. Um, I'll try to, once it's done, I'll record it again and see where everything goes. Right now, it's kind of a mess because I still have the DDPR hoses that have to run from there all the way over here on this side because that's where all the vacuum hoses are at on this one. So, And on this one, they're just right here. I don't know why it was like that. Oh, I see why the throttle body is right there. So, yep. So what I'm going to do real quick. So there it is. Stock air box is already installed. This vacuum hose is over here. Not the prettiest, but it would do for state ref. Now I just got to lift it up, do the oil changes the oil change and i'm gonna put the 15s on this because the 15s do have tires they have neo uh neo gens a pair of neo gens and then a pair of kumos and i think that would do for it now just to get it up in the road oh shit i forgot to tighten these so i gotta tighten these and put the sensor back on but i also have to buy an air filter for this because uh, when I got it for pick apart, I was gonna have to pay for the air filter. Uh, if they charge you for it, I'd rather just buy a new one. It's fucking cheap. So, oil change is done. I'm just letting it sit a little bit. That's the old oil. 
it was still like brownish, but it's been sitting more than a year. So what's it called? You're supposed to change it every six months or every like what? 5,000 miles, 6,000 miles, so it's full synthetic. So time came up first. Um, now just to remove the 17s, she's going back on 15s. She's taking one set of mines and those are probably going to go to Smurf um, later on. So, yeah. Gonna go back where they belong. But that's about it. Just do the wheels, drop it down, and call it a day. So there she is, sitting on 15s now. Sheesh! So all that's left is actually grab that air filter and then I could pull it out. These are my gram lights. So yeah.